Right, we're in the village of Asenia de Sima. About 25 minutes from Castel Rank. Yeah. Um, and about... Six minutes from... Uh, yeah. And um, 20 minutes from Salgiro where our house is. We're on this road here. Rua de Redo Redonia. Redondinia. Redo Redondinia, yeah, that, anyway. <laughs> and we've come to view this house next door. Um, so, I've not looked at it at all. This is first view. Um, there's an industrial place over there. Looks like an ex-war camp, but um, it isn't. But it's not, you know, I've seen worse things to look at. It's uh, got some nice views from the house. So this is the uh, the road, it's a very quiet village. So um, this red Tijolo building at the edge is part of it. And... Uh, It's in here behind these gates now. State agent isn't here yet. Mm. This is a gable end of the stone building. That's the house. And there's a river somewhere because this this land goes down. Yeah. To a river. So, yeah. Well, the land that's with it is the other side of that tree. I don't know whether this is part of it, but we will find out when the state agent gets here. Just wanted to get a quick look before they arrive. I've just translated the name of the village and it means um, uh, of the water mill. So of the water mill, okay. Very nice area, very nice region, really gorgeous actually. And the houses that are lived in look really nice yeah well yeah after. right okay when this day agent gets here we'll uh, crack on how much is this other market for by the way 35 35,000 euros 990 meters square do i mean that does that sound right Yeah, the land area is 990 square metres. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure that's yeah, what it Yeah, about that. So, yeah, we'll um, we'll crack on as soon as she lightens. Or he. Or he. So as far as we can tell, the access to the land is from this little track coming down here. It goes down and over the stream here. It's a lovely little stream, but to get to the hat, to get to the land that the house is on, you go up there, which means you're passing through probably three properties from this direction. Um, I've just been and had a look. You, there's a, it's got a nice flat area at the bottom, and then it's terraced quite steeply, as you can tell here. It's the same sort of thing. It's quite steep. Steeply but it, terraced. But it has got terraces. But it has got terraces. Um, you couldn't see anything. I couldn't show you anything there, really. Um, there's an olive grove beyond. There's olive trees all over. There's a few on the land. There's about five or six, Sam. Um, no, I think there's a few more. Might be up to ten. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few olive trees on it, um, and it all backs down to this little stream here. So I'm stood on the bridge now over the stream. So this is looking away from the land. So it's a nice little spot here. Yeah. And then I pan back round. And the stream runs along the edge of these vines to the, uh, the back of the property. I don't think the property goes beyond that. So it's it's all it's everything to it's up there to the left. As you can tell, it's streamer time. 
trimming getting done before the weather gets too hot and they can't trim anymore. So I'll just walk you up the access road. You could get on you could get on there with a rotivator powered rotivator type thing to get to your land. Um, but nothing bigger than that. Not even a a garden tractor. Not from this side. Not from this side. From the other side you could, but I don't know what the access is to that piece of land. We, could, we didn't want to walk on it because it is obviously somebody else's land. So, uh, we might have a walk around on the road and see if you can see. So this is the road down, all quite good. And when you go up there to that red gable end with the garage door, that's where we're parked, which is, you know, next to the house. So this is a lower, lower part of the village. Other than a strimmer, it's a nice sleepy place. A lot of the houses are looked after. There's a few that aren't, but they seem to be generally looked after. Yeah, there's odd people about. So this is the back of the house and the land going down. Now I've zoomed in from the road and it drops down to a stream at the bottom. I'll zoom back out. So this is this is the road that passes the village. So there's no th there is traffic in the village, but very little. So not the White House with the red roof, but the Red House. That one. So Tajolo on this side building. But I think the house is stone. But that's the views beyond the house and the views out the back of the side building and out the back of, no, there isn't any out the back of the house because it's got no windows, but you've got a window there looking this way at this mountain side. And that's, I'll do this slowly because this is the rest of the village and your strimmer run still strimmer in right. and that over there is a chicken farm so I'm on the terrace at the back of the house this is the rear of the uh, buildings um, these are all well, other than the stone one this stone bit is very old the rest is obviously an add-on and needs work but there is yeah bits of building all over the place now this big building at the end with the window is the neighbor so that's your boundary that way and where the ladies are stood over there that little hut the, the wall at the other end of it is the boundary there so what we have is uh let's look down you just have a this is a flat terrace all right very overgrown so you know we have a wall here dropping down to the next terrace that drops down to the next terrace so I'm on a terrace, there's one below, probably 10 foot down, and then the same again, 10 foot down, and then 10 foot down to the flat area at the bottom. Um, plenty of olives, cork oak, etc, etc. So there is a pathway down here. I'm not going down it, it's, uh, I'll end up on my backside, but that's the steep pathway down. So if you're going to grow anything, you're doing it on terraces. So this is the access that wants clearing. Yeah, I've done that though. So right, we're coming out into the courtyard. So you've got some sort of, hang on, let me just 
well, I'll be honest, let's get a wider angle picture. So that's the access down there. There's a falling down building there. There's a bit of a stone building here. Tijolo extension. All oh, once rendering and insulating on the inside, then this is the house. We're doing a little bit at the end, Mark. I'm going to do. So what you've got is one, two. You've got a room at that on the left hand side which is, is not a bad size about four meters square and then this room is slightly larger but it's partitioned off to make bedrooms I'll take you in there in a second so you've got a concrete courtyard and then this is uh, is it just stone? yeah I think just. so just stone yeah right over out here in a yeah another Tijolo building and it's a good size room, a good storeroom of sorts or whatever you want to do, you know, you, you've got to have some vision being used for something. So the roof looks in good order. And the views, well, you got the, if you're a vegan, not for you, because that's a chicken farm. But then the other views are quite nice, a nice area. No actual view from the house, but um, very private, very quiet, private village. There is no... Uh, no cafe bar, I think it's about four kilometers away, the nearest. So I'll take you in this first building. This has got a, a loft. I'm for five foot eight and a half, and my, yeah, my forehead hits it. So you, you'd have to be five foot six for this. So this is a, a stone building, but with a Tijolo, um, extension again this is about three and a half meters square this next one is the bathroom sadly no b-day because the walls are very thin they're only like a two yeah you know what I mean I think you'd make your access out through there rather than that end bit because it'd just be better and that wall's barely doing anything really it's not touching the ground so got concrete floors there's a that's your access into the loft the loft is quite high so this doorway, I mean this doorway, this um, is below my chin, so that's very low. You get inside and you've got enough, uh, I don't know, five foot ten. Again, another three and a half by four, maybe, metres. All tijolo, except for this wall here, which is the original house. So there's some ducking or anyway, that's just full renovation. So right, I'll take you into the house. So what you have here is the dining area. This is a bedroom with a three-quarter bed. They just they just wood walls, so it just it needs pulling out. But there's no access from this part into the other part without going outside kitchen so somebody it's been empty about five years again another bedroom so there was four plus people lived in yeah in this i've been i've had me head up in the loft it don't look bad up there 
it looks okay but it is wooden beam so it would be old then to whether you, if you're going to go to the trouble of doing everything do you do absolutely everything so so these are proper stone walls they're a good yeah they're 60 centimeter thick again another four before meter room um the floor has cracks That wall has a crack up it, not a massive crack, but it's a crack. This wall has a crack up it. And another crack. So you might want to get structural engineering. It has electricity and water to the house. Um, ooh, I don't know. Lovely little village. Quiet, peaceful, and um, pretty well looked after. This is right on the edge of it. Um, double gates in, so you've got off-road parking. There's your views. Yeah. And it's on the market with Melanie at home key. At 35,000 euros. I think there will be definite offers available on that. Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, right, so, you've seen it, I don't know what to say about it, the picture's totally tall I think, so, subscribe and like, over and out.